What's good, y'all? This is D. Foster. I'm videographer and editor of the Daily Late Show. First, I want to say thank y'all for tapping in and supporting us. Secondly, I want to announce that we have selected winners for the Back to School giveaway. While only a select few people were able to make it this time, we encourage y'all to stay tapped in as we will be doing more giveaways for underprivileged families in the near future. Until then, enjoy this episode from the Day Late Show and OG Kwan. Make smile, just help show your all white teeth. Bust down with a purple dial, it's for safe people. She said you can have any girl around this time, why me? Cause I can see loyalty and ambition and style like me. No, I'm not your type like that. But I'm gon' still try her pity face ass bad way snatch. He ain't got no size, her Kelly Crocker dial 50 stats. You don't need no why. What's poppin', what's poppin'? It's your girl, LG Penny. And it's your boy, E2 Smooth. With the Day Late Show. And it is season four, episode three. You know what I'm talking about. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Y'all been seeing, we've been coming with a whole lot, a whole lot of content lately. A whole bunch of hot stuff with the hot podcast on airway. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, today we got something in store for you guys. with a special little guest. You know what I'm saying? You, you never know who's going to stop by. You never know who is just, you know, in the neighborhood and want to stop in and just have a quick conversation with us. So check this out, man. With further ado, the DLS family, let's give a warm welcome to successful coin himself, the future entrepreneur yeah, yeah. and the jazz leader yeah. himself is in the building, man. Mr. Artist of the good. Pity himself. What's happening, man? What it do, man? I appreciate y'all for having me. Man, welcome to the family, man. How you doing? Good, good, man. Another day. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey man, so listen, you know how we do it here on the show. Before we kick off every show, we always give a little quick debrief of how our ups and our downs for the week and what we can do to better them. So we're gonna start off, man. If you don't mind, we'd like to kick it off with you. Is that cool with you? Let's do it. Sure, man. I got just came back home from a long trip with the job. You know what I'm saying? I see the family, I can chill with the crew. You know what I'm saying? What you got today? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Downs, man. We grind. We ain't there yet, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, what do you do? A lot, bro. Uh, engineer, you know what I mean? Okay. Work for a company out here in Dallas, slash Germany, you know what I mean? Okay. Hey y'all, it's the CEO of Focus Practice, and some of you may or may not know this, but we have partnered up with the Day Late Show and other amazing local Dallas black owned businesses, and we'll be helping families send their kids off to school. But this is what you have to do. You can reach out to the Day Late Show, their email, their official page, their website, or you can DM us and apply to be one of the family. Just send your name, your contact number, the kids that are in school, and their grade level and gender. We will pick the winners this upcoming Friday, and you guys will be notified on Saturday. So let's get it. Let's save our community, and let's wish these kids well, man. It is 2021, and they going in with a boom. It's time to get real serious with what I'm trying to do. Everything around me, whether it's my corporate job, 9 to 5, and my side business. Like, you know, I just got to put forth the effort, work hard. You know, nothing's going to be given to you. So I feel like I'm just really tapped in. So, we 
we're going to talk about how do you tell the difference between being cocky and being confident? What do you guys think? How do you tell the difference? Just opinion. Well, I guess I'll top it off. Personally, I feel like everybody has their own definition of every word in a dictionary. Right there. Okay. You know, my meaning of love might not be the same meaning of love to you. My meaning of dislike might not be the same meaning of dislike to you. You know? So, I feel like being cocky to me is somebody who maybe I want to say tries too hard to, mm, I don't know. Because I feel like sometimes maybe you may perceive somebody as being cocky, but maybe it's really just not being cocky. Maybe we just put that title on somebody to be cocky. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, it's like instead of people really being cocky, is it really them being cocky or is it uh, not an insecurity in you, but it could be like something in you that makes you just, you know, it makes you feel a tough way for a reason type right. shit. And not a bad way, it could be a good way type shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. That's what you know. Uh, for me, I think, you know what I'm saying, the difference between being cocky and confident just depends on the, the scenario, mm -hmm. the yeah. situation, you know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. And I think the tone, how you say things, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It depends on what you got going, you know what I'm saying? If you're in the middle of a game, yeah. It's time to be cocky, cocky. Right. It's time to yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if you're looking to inspire <coughs> somebody, that's you gotta change the tone. You know right. what I'm saying? Take it to okay. Yeah. Next so next so next you next gotta mix a little bit of humble in it. Yeah. yeah. If you don't, yeah. that's when the cocky mix yeah. starts coming out. People feel like they can't be told nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, when I when I first thought about the, the topic, uh, I mean, I felt that way. I did feel the same way, and then I just started thinking a little deeper about it when it comes to. You being cocky, I feel like if there is a thin line between being cocky and being confident, if you're confident, then you already know preparation is key. Right. Mm -hmm. So that means you know properly prepare yourself for what you know or whatever it is that you set out to do. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, what some people might find cocky is when you know that you have succeeded in doing that that preparation right. and working mm -hmm. and building yourself to achieve them goals that you attain for yourself. Mm -hmm. So that's why I say it is a thin line, but you gotta understand, like you gotta say, it's all about how you perceive things, your right. perception of what that person is. Mm -hmm. it, it could be an insecurity. I was just about to say that because I feel like it depends on your self esteem as well. Yeah, some people, yeah, you know, some true. people naturally have that extra go energy where it's just yeah. like, okay, yeah, I gotta go get it, put it away for today, go kill it. Mm -hmm. And then versus somebody else who wants to have that potential, they want to be like that, but yeah. it's just something in them holding them back, you know? Cool. So I feel like some people have to just realize that maybe it's them, something within them that may make them, yeah. you know, feel some right. type of way. Right. And why is that? And it's okay to dig deep and think about that because it doesn't have to be a bad thing. It can be okay, maybe I'm inspired. It doesn't yeah. have to be yeah. somebody yeah. being. Yeah you know, just cocky or whatever, or trying to rub in your face. I feel like I kind of learned that, especially being in entrepreneurship in Dallas, yeah. Texas. Y'all mm -hmm. know it's a small city. So it's like, everybody trying to, you know, it's like a little pool. Everybody right. trying to get that piece of little fish. You know, it's not that many, yeah. so everybody's trying to grab, grab, grab. But sometimes it, it can become, uh, what can I say, what's the proper word? Kind of scary, I guess, intimidating, not intimidating, yeah. a bit too intimidating, you know, to feel like, dang, what if, I, what, am I really doing the right thing? There's so many people out here trying to do this nowadays, but at the same time, you have to sit back and think, you know, there's a million different burger companies, yeah. you got Wendy's, yeah. McDonald's, yeah. Chick-fil-A, yeah. you know, it's Burger King mindset, exactly, but then I feel like not everybody's end goal is the same, right. you know, just because we have the same company and starting off the same does not mean my end result is what you may want to do, yeah. or, yeah, exactly, <clears throat> so... I feel like it really just depends on you, your self-confidence, uh -huh. you know, cocky, basically just being too high-headed, you know, yeah. acting like when people do try to come to you and talk to you about right. something, then it's kind of like, a, okay, whatever, you know, no, I would say mean, that's being cocky, because you can't be, I don't think someone's cocky if they showing me that they feel highly of themselves, especially if they know their standards, their worth, you know, right. so I feel like how can someone be titled as cocky? Sometimes people are confused cocky with it, you know what I'm saying, focus, you know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. I can think you cocky, but you just might be focused, you know what I'm saying? So some people be locked in, and that's just their mentality. Sometimes so that's different. Like, exactly. that killer mentality, exactly. when you like killer mentality, time, yeah. It's like, sometimes you just have to understand, like, if you don't really just understand that person and the things that they have attained or set for yourself, it can come off. It can come off as them trying to be cocky. But in real life scenarios, they really humble themselves. Yeah, exactly. They're very confident in what they're trying to do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But that's just a part of the change when you're trying to separate yourself from 
where you are to where you want to be. You know what I'm saying? I agree, because then sometimes I feel like certain people's work <clears throat> ethic just not the same. I mean, in that, you know, they didn't, some people have certain role models that might have motivated them, or some people mm-hmm. use that to motivate them. You know, everybody has their own yeah. motives. So it's really up to those individuals, honestly. Yeah, no confidence is zero. You won't get nowhere, no confidence. You, 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 know what you, you don't let yourself, you don't believe in yourself. Nobody else is going to believe me. And, and actually, them, that's something that they told me in my presentation, feedback today, they were actually like, it's the fact that you were speaking confidently like you were so excited like we tell you knew what you were talking about yeah, yeah, you were already yeah. looking at the screens you were just running and, like, and I did that for what 10 minutes yeah, like you know that's how you prepare for it so I feel you're like just being prepared and just because somebody else is doing something that you want to do don't use that as a, a threat to make them yeah, you know you know less of yourself if anything let that motivate you it's okay to see somebody else succeed just as much as you that's you know, it's right. 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 easy to get a word out of it. You know what I'm saying? If you don't get it, they're going to get it. And that's what I was going to say. Survival of the fittest. But also, yeah. I feel like I realized in this world, some people were raised off love, some people were raised off survival. Right. And right. I right. feel like that way kind of divides the two. It shows you, you know, especially when stuff starts getting hard. Exactly. And then you'll see the people who sit back kind of envious or low key trying to. You know, feed off the people who real life trying to they put it. Yeah. Raise off survival. I gotta That's get it easy. every day. I just gotta That's get easy. it. And so the people that might just make them feel some type of way. Oh, she's always trying, or he trying to be greedy. He trying. Yeah. He just want his plate, so he go eat it. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think mean, the word cocky come from when you have success and you don't. It's like people that that that's looking to, looking at you having yeah. success. It's yeah. like you, you steady put it in their place. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I mean, that's, that's where you gotta, yeah. You, you know, know what I mean? You gotta step down, be humble, humble it up. You know what I mean? That thing, Your job to teach, coach, do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Some people yeah. need they got it. that. Yeah, that's that's that, yeah. That's that's that. Or confirmation. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You so busy, head high, and you worried about it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Forget where you came from. Forget how you started. Forget what inspired you. Yeah, that's why I say all the time. Like when it mm-hmm. comes down to it, it's either either you're gonna be a leader, and you gotta understand with being a leader that it's gonna come with a lot of backlash. It's gonna come with a lot of negativity. It's gonna come with a lot of changing and growth. And but the thing of it is, is I tell people all the time, you can lead so much, but you have to be able to show, and you have to be that one when things go deep that you gotta be able to steer it back right, and they know that. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So like you say. Confidence. Let them, if they feel intimidated, that's nothing that, that that's you can do. That's the growth that you can create yourself. Thing, you right. And then I also, not to cut you off, I feel like God really feeds on his people. You know, if you walk yeah. in yeah. faith and you know you pray every night and do what you got to do to put in that work as well, yeah. you're going to walk different. You're going to hold your head different. You're going to walk with that confidence. When you walk in yeah. the room, your presence is going to be felt. You know? And, and some know. people don't that's have that. Some people just that's don't, you know. It's like, it's like if a doctor walk in the room and operate on you, you want him to be. You want him to be. You want him to be. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know, it's okay for him to be cocky because yeah. you know what he's doing. But, you know what I'm saying? But like they say, it's always a, a certain time and a place for that. You know what yeah. I mean? But just understand if you do show that, don't feel, you know what I'm saying? Don't feel it, you know, bad. Don't feel like you, you misplaced or you're doing something wrong. Because just understand that mm-hmm. it comes with the growth and what you're trying to accomplish. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, Kenny, but uh, let's get into the second topic. I yeah, can't really see. Can you uh, read that out for me? Yeah, so for the second topic, it says we have a monster. So, slay the monster. Everybody, every day we face some, you know, different demons, whether it's something in the work world, something personal, you know, mentally, physically. We need to try to figure out different steps to make sure we kind of stay level-headed, right. keep ourselves mentally healthy, because if anything, our mental health is important, you know? Yeah. I feel like, <clears throat> and that should be the number one thing first. Like, even especially with all of us, what and we do, you know, basically sales and engineering mm-hmm. things like that. Those are mental. I, I call them games. They like mental games because you yeah. can be up one day and then the next day you down. But yeah. you got to keep that same mindset. As I'm hungry, like she said, I'm here to eat. I didn't grow up with everything that was handed to me. I had to go and take it yeah. in, a, in a certain way. So it's that mindset. Of, Every day is that hunger that I gotta come in and I gotta eat, you know what I mean? So, like you say, the first is mental health, but slay the monster to, and me, to me, what it means is just basically fighting yourself, going for me versus me, you versus you, basically saying that whatever you just sit in front of you that you feel like you can't remove, take that upon yourself and remove those things and move forward, you know what I'm saying? Build on it, grow on it. So, that's what it means to me. What you think? Uh, for me, bro, I say first thing first. 
that's all I just learned not too long ago. It was always it leave me because you know we always overlook it. It's probably I say spiritually, bro, like believe, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You gotta stand on something. Believe whatever you believe in, bro. You know what I'm saying? Once you out there alone, that is get, you know what I'm saying? There is turn the night, it get dark and nobody around you, bro. I don't care how strong you is, how yeah. much money you got. I talk to God, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna that, that keep you going. And if you don't believe in God, you need to talk to me, you need to talk to me, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Everybody believe in somebody, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's just what it is, bro. Stand stand in whatever book you read or whatever, whoever keep you going, stay in contact for me, you know, God, family, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you forget about family, sometimes yeah. about the gang, your pockets, but in the, the day, about that family, you know what I'm saying? That's what's yeah. gonna keep you going, yeah. cause yeah. you know what I'm saying, you know where you come from, man, family yeah. first, so I think when I think of that, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people forget why you doing it. You know what I'm saying? You start getting that money, you start getting that attention, you want to do with the game, you want the females, or you want the boys, the the or whatever. Yeah, you yeah. so forgot about grandma at the crib, or cousin, yeah. yeah. mama, yeah. Them yeah. folks that yeah. you was doing it from the beginning, bro. So yeah. I say family first, and you really, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Listen though, so since we got since we got the topics out of the way, I want to kind of spit off the schedule a little bit, and I just want to ask you guys as two uh, up and coming entrepreneurs, you know, like especially in this day and time right now, like what are some of the, the things that you you guys have faced, or what what's the hill like, and what did you guys do to overcome those things? Personally, for me, um, does it have to be pertaining to just the business or just anything? For it can me? be business life.
came back to it. He said, if you stay loyal to the people that stay loyal to you, the success will always find you. That's why I always say, bro, no matter what it is that's in front of us, bro, stick to the plan. Yeah. Stick to your plan, bro. You got to find the love with the preparation, bro. That's what's going to build you. That's what's going to give you that. And another that, point, bro. Leap. You know Some people mean? feel like, you know what I'm saying, just because they're not doing what they want to do, yeah. that they can't do that. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, right. like you say, your sales job, you know what I'm saying, is communication every day. Yeah, so day. you're doing that's something that's right. this, this, this honestly on them skills that help you so do what you right. want. Right. So yeah. take advantage yeah. of whatever you're doing, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you prepping for your, your business yeah. whether you know it or not. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of people say, man, I ain't got time to do this. Yeah. You're doing yeah. it right yeah. now. You yeah. already started. You just did work. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to limit the excuse. And I think people just got to think from a different perspective. Like yeah. I said, you know, two people are kind of caught up in their mind about where it's like, oh, the nine times stuff did, oh, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. I mean, sometimes yeah. those things around you to do what you to need to what do, you do and prepare you for the future. You know, like Juan said, you know, doing schedules, things like that. Like being part of an internship yeah, or doing yeah. a regular day to day job, you learn yeah. different day to day skills that you yeah, need. Right. And you learn how to use that stuff when it comes to them sales numbers. Yeah, right, and yeah. they have deep dive and sales and stuff. You know, you know how to when it comes to your business, yeah, you or even if you want to run for something bigger in a company. You know, yeah. learn and all these things and make a portfolio. Yeah, you yeah. got to, you know, yeah. just build yourself up. Don't sleep on them skills that they're teaching you. Use yeah. it to elevate yourself, yeah. not just that company. And it's important to network. Bro. The networking mm-hmm. is very important. Like that's one thing you can learn, not just through sales, not through anything. Yeah. That's just everyday life, like yeah. networking. Who you, man? When you know what you know, so you know. There you go. I promise you, you can know somebody from five right. years ago that can come up and something just happened. Well, that's a blessing to you. Right. And now you done elevated to something, you know what I mean? And people quit the same, man. I don't talk to people. Like, yeah, right. well, I seen you on Facebook the other day. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was under them comments. Yeah. Yeah. The video went viral. Yeah. I network yeah. every day. Yeah. You call somebody every day. So you can network. You, you know network. what I'm saying? It's just you got to be willing to do it. Yeah. 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 I feel like, yeah, that's what this job has taught me this past summer, too. Because I can say, like, I'm a mental thought, like, to be in my shell sometimes. Sometimes yeah. I do like to be secluded. I just want to do my job and be alone. Yeah. But I'm learning to get out of my comfort zone to actually, it's okay to con- contact and network yeah. and yeah. connect with those people. You got questions to ask. Yeah. Even yeah. if it's something simple, you don't just reach out. It's okay to just build them relationships and let people know that you're interested or that you really yeah. value yeah. the lessons and the stuff that they're trying to mentor you in. You know? Yeah, I'm
You know, the next thing you know, they 35, still doing the same stuff. Yeah. You know, You're that's right. addiction. You're right. You know, and that's really not healthy, especially <clears throat> for our community. So I feel like we should start taking more self accountability okay. and realizing when things go left. Just learn how to deal with that in a sober mind. Because if you don't learn how to do that, then you're always going to run to a substance or something yeah. different to release that. Right. And then, you know, it'll be hard for you to just gain yourself back. But once you learn how to focus on yourself and how to handle your emotions, yeah. and you'll really be a stronger person. You'll know how to deal with a lot of things in life, whether it's personal relationships, business, or life, just yeah. everything around yeah. you. You'll feel better mentally and physically. Like, you know? I just wanted to ask you really quick. I was going to say, uh, you know, a lot of people don't realize what being bored is an activity. You was bored yesterday for five hours, but you yeah. really did something, you know what yeah. I mean? So take that, the time you were bored Remember and replace it, you know what I'm saying, with something that's going to benefit you, whether it's meditating, you know, make it, right. be, make it beneficial. Mm-hmm. If you're playing a game, you know, play a game that's mind yeah. stimulating, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, you that boredom, that boredom to transition yeah. to something to that's push you towards productive, something. yeah, because mm-hmm. a lot of people be bored every day, you know what I'm saying? Right. So. And uh, just to really, to add on to what you guys said, because you guys really had awesome great points it's just honestly like you say look yourself in the mirror be accountable like you say <clears throat> basically limit the excuses if you know what you need to fix you know what you need to do do that <coughs> but uh go ahead
portions and type of phases, you know? So it's like, exactly. Yeah. Sometimes you want to reach out to people who are influencers on Instagram, or yeah. sometimes you battle, yeah. dang, should I hit him a homegirl, homeboy? But sometimes some people just want you for free, even yeah. if it's an influence on Instagram, you know? That's sometimes they'll get for free and may not do something too. Do it for so, you know Exactly, you know exactly. You, know you just got to think wise. You just got to be able to put your business moves. It's all part of the game, bro. A lot of people don't want to make home. They're free. They love. Exactly. They don't care. That's, that's, that's cool. That's cool. Mm-hmm. You know, but mm-hmm. you got to understand. Like, right. I done put my money in. You got to know your work. So, how can I make my profit if I'm just I'm always, always showing love? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Exactly. But then, if they truly your friend or truly your family, yeah. true customer yeah. to you, family, they're going to show love and they're going to pay you the whole price anyway. Then they're going to tip you on top of it. So, it's all about you. Really, it's possible yeah. to live mm-hmm. against me. Sometimes I'm like, you know, and, and on top of that, I think you, you have to hold your stuff. It got zero, 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 zero. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the point that you know what I'm saying? Okay. Hey, but listen, we done got to my favorite part of the show right now. This is a penny for your wallet. Yeah. 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 But no, so for this segment, a penny for your thoughts, I actually seen this earlier today. So y'all know, I was like, boom, heard the topic. I seen all this reference on Twitter, this riff rock, 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 riffing, rapping, riffing and rapping. And, <laughs> and I was like, we got to talk about this. We got to talk about this right here. So I have a question for y'all. What? Y'all been paying attention to Mr. Shannon? Uncle Shannon? Sure. Sure. Nah, what happened? So, y'all tell me what y'all think about this. Dis- disagree, agree, you know, comment, whatever. Boom. So, I'm scrolling. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Boom. I see him. He quotes a picture of Dr. Dre and Dr. Dre's daughter, and it was like a news article saying how his 32-year-old daughter is currently homeless, yep. right? But her daddy is like a billionaire, you know? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Shannon quoted it and was like, I don't see no problem. I see just a, a grown woman who need to get her stuff together. So everybody was like, hold on, wait a minute, but your daddy is a billionaire and you gonna let your daughter just, you know, so like, what is you guys' opinion, whether it's in the black community or whether it's just dads in general, you know, being that type of, she is a grown woman, that's what I'm gonna say, I'm talking like, you know, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and come to she says something. I feel like personally, she is a grown woman, you 32. It's even if you're 17, you know, early 20s maybe. But once you get to that, you know, you close to thirty. Look, mm, I think it's different if you know that's your child is doing what they got to do. They come to college student or you know a yeah. uh, high school student, middle school of course, everything like that. But once you grown enough to pay yo, you own, you know, you you damn near married, mm-hmm. got kids and all of that. Of course, I can let my child fail, fall. But I'll be there to help you sometimes. I'm gonna let you bust your ass a few times. Yeah. But. I feel like if you're not showing that you can be accountable, hold yourself accountable, be responsible, take those responsibilities, then it's like, okay, yeah, I might just allow you to make yourself look stupid, but eventually you got to get your shit together. I mean, I can't force you, though. Right, yeah. So, right, if that's right. really on her, at this point, you're 32, baby, now 22. So, I can't really say, her, but <laughs> if she was younger, though, if she was younger, right, you know? Right, but, I mean, it, I guess we don't know that situation either from the outside looking in, but still, maybe she could have had some there that just
Type like that, but I'm gon' still try Her pretty face has bad way snatch He ain't got no size, her Kelly Crocker Die 50 stacks, don't need no why, don't know why But it's all on me Make smile, just help show your all white teeth Bust down with a purple dial